All right, folks, welcome back. I'm Jake Ellenbogen. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Darius Williams and Laryl Murchison, who both got activated in the 21-day windows to be basically taken off of IR, and we'll see if it happens. I'll, I'm gonna explain exactly what that means. Before we dive into that, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, be sure to follow me on all social media at JK Bogan. And just a quick word from our sponsor of today's video, Via. Fall is here and so is Via to help you embrace the natural power of cannabis this season. Via's premium, federally legal cannabis products are your perfect companion. Farmed and crafted with care in the U.S. and trusted by over half a million customers, Via has a product for everyone. Via just launched their high THCA flower in 7 gram and 28 gram bags and brand new flavors for the THCA vape lines. So you have more options than ever to blaze your own trail. Via is also well-renowned for their award-winning THC and THC-free gummies and vapes, soothing topicals, and calming drops, all crafted with the highest quality hemp sourced from trusted, independently-owned American farms. And the best part, Via legally ships to nearly all states in the U.S. in discreet packaging directly to your door with a worry-free guarantee no medical card required. So if you're 21 or older, check out our link in the description and the comment section below to Via's website and use my code JKBOGAN to get 15% off of your purchase. Now, I want to just say this. I was never into, you know, THC gummies or what have you. So when they say that there is something for everyone, um, they really mean it because I really got into the gummies. I use them. They're great for stress. They're great for sleep. They got some great sleep gummies. You guys know how hard it is for me to sleep. Well, I'll tell you right now. I love their sleep gummies. And they have stuff for focusing as well, which is a big thing for me because I work from home and I literally create content all day and watch film and jot notes down. So I need to stay focused. So definitely check out Via. 100% recommend. Uh, I use it pretty much every day now. So uh, again, that code is JK Bogan, 15% off, and that's Via. All right, guys. So Darius Williams, I'm going to give you my thoughts on him here. Uh, according to Sports Info Solutions, I tweeted this back on September 4th. Darius Williams had a deserved catch percentage last year of 67.2% and a targeted passer rating of 46.1. Both of those numbers rank number one in the NFL for the 2023 season among all cornerbacks. What am I saying? Well, the Rams got one of the best cornerbacks in football statistically from last season, and he is getting his activation window going okay they have 21 days to essentially add him to the roster if they don't then he gets stuck on the ir for the rest of the year that's not going to happen i don't expect him to be activated this week uh from the ir but the window allows him to now practice and they get to see okay he's there it's time to you know activate him off the ir i don't see it being this week though i think he'll practice i don't think he's going to play against the Packers. They have a bye week six. I think they're going to give him that time, have him come back week seven. That way he's ready to go. You don't want to rush it. You you just got him back or you're getting him back. You don't want to rush it and cause another injury. Keep in mind, I have no issue with them being cautious about Darius Williams, who re-aggravated a previous injury he had in camp. So that tells me that he may have come back too soon. I think they need to be cautious with this one. If they're looking at this as a season that's not over, which they should be, then there's no reason to rush him back and get him hurt. Because the reality is, if you rush him back and he gets hurt, well, this is a guy that can help you win games, okay? I understand seeing it one way where, okay, he can help you win against the Packers immediately, call him up and everything, make sure he's on the roster. At the same time, if you think he's that important, I'd rather have him for the rest of the season and miss one game than have him play this game and miss the rest of the season. So with that said, I agree with you know this decision to activate the window. 
I agree if he does not play this weekend, totally fine with it. I think you give him the bye. You have him come back week seven against the Raiders. And I think you're you're in a good spot there uh, as far as that goes. I did mention Laryl Murchison. I have my thoughts on him. But Laryl Murchison also 21-day window. I just don't know at this point if I would say Laryl Murchison is an upgrade over what's currently in the defensive line room. As a matter of fact, I don't think he's an upgrade. I, if anything, I think he's going to take away from playing time that could be going to Tyler Davis, that could be going to Deswan Johnson, who was a healthy scratch this past Sunday. I don't necessarily love this. I didn't have him making the roster. Now, it's not me hating on him. I think he's a solid player, but I want to see these other guys get opportunities. My issue is it's not like you're bringing in a guy who's 340 pounds. He's going to help you in the run game like he's a Damon Snacks Harrison or a Dexter Lawrence. No, no, no. He is a undersized defensive lineman. That's pretty much what they have all over the defensive line. A bunch of guys that are more undersized. They can move quickly, uh, compact, not really big. Um, so that there's that. I mean, I know you have some guys. Obviously, Bobby Brown is one of them. But it's not like they're adding beef to the defensive line. This is another one of those under 300 pound guys. So I, to be fair, I think Murchison can help. I do. I just don't know if I necessarily agree with giving up a roster spot because now you don't want to have eight defense alignment or whatever you have. So now, you know, Corey Durden doesn't get a chance to get back on this roster. Maybe end up having to cut a Neville Gallimore. Maybe Deswan Johnson doesn't play at all the rest of the year because he'll be on, you know, the healthy scratch list or it's Tyler Davis. I just don't love this. I feel like on the other side, Darius Williams, he's a need. If you can get him soon, that's great. But he is 100% a need. And I'll go as far as to say this. Williams isn't just one of the best players on the defense. He's one of the best players on the team, and they love him. So when he comes back, he should make a huge impact. He should be huge for this team, and he has been in the past for the Rams. So we're awaiting this return that essentially he hasn't played with the Rams since the Super Bowl season. He has not played in an NFL game wearing the Rams horns since the Super Bowl season. Since the Super Bowl, let's just say that, since the Super Bowl. So it, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him uh, active. And, you know, obviously he is one of the better corners in the league, but I'm also totally fine with them taking their time. I don't think they should rush him at all, personally. I think that would be a mistake. So I agree with that. Um, I will say, in addition to that, looking at the cornerback room, because we talked about the defensive line room, the cornerback room right now, the way it looks, is that I think you have Darius Williams, who predominantly played right corner last year for the Jaguars. I think he fits in at right corner, okay? Currently on the right side, that's where Trey White is. On the left side has been Kobe Durant, and we also saw Akella Witherspoon play nine snaps over there and have a lot of success in those very limited opportunities. Now, I think... Akello Witherspoon is going to take over at left corner. I do. And that's where he was last year. And I think when you look at the way Akello Witherspoon played at the beginning of last year, played with Darion Kendrick, Kendrick down the stretch really struggled. But there was one point where week seven, week eight or whatever, we're talking about really good cornerback play, albeit the pass interference calls and stuff like that weren't great uh, for Darion Kendrick, but really good cornerback play nonetheless. Right now, the cornerback play is getting bailed out because essentially you have Trey White who's fine taking a penalty instead of giving up yards, right? They're getting bailed out because also up front, this is this pass rush rate, the win rate, this is the best in the league the Rams have up front. So they have a really good pass rush and it's helping out the secondary and it's forcing them to essentially not get exposed Whereas if they didn't have as good of a pass rush, pass rush maybe as last year, the especially 2022, uh, this could be really bad. Now, keep in mind, Trey White's already given up four touchdowns. You're not going to sit Kobe Durant, who's given up zero, although he could have easily given up two this past game. He wasn't great uh, this past game. But 
I'll be honest with you. I think Kobe has shown in the past the versatility. He can play inside. He can play outside. I think that bodes well for him. I think he's going to get some opportunities. I think Trey White getting some opportunities inside would help. But make no mistake about it. I think when it's all said and done, because I do believe the two best players, regardless of contract or anything, are going to be playing and starting. And I think that's Akella Witherspoon and Darius Williams, like I thought it should have been when they signed Darius Williams. I feel like that is such a great duo, such a great tandem, and would really help the Rams out. You have a guy that has a ball hawking ability, another guy that has ball hawking ability. You have a guy that's a shutdown corner, another guy who can really just, the range is there with Akello, the length, everything. So I feel like they really work in combination. Um, we're going to see what ends up happening. But again, something has to change. They're one and three. You can't just keep trotting out the same linebackers, the same cornerbacks, and be one of the worst defenses in football. You have to change some things. And that's saying a lot. All of this pressure, and they're 31st in most categories and 32nd, some other categories, in defense, okay? So that's something there. So I think when it's all said and done, I think Akella Witherspoon and Darius Williams, like I was hoping for in the offseason, I think that's going to be your cornerback uh, starting lineup. I think Kobe Durant and Trey White will share time. Maybe they'll lean on Kobe Durant a little bit more. Who knows? But that's how I see it happening. So curious what you guys have, you know, your thoughts. Was I too hard on Murchison? Do you, are, are you, would you rather have Darius Williams play this weekend? Just let me know. Um, but that's going to do it. Special shout out to Via, of course, for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, folks. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.